Hey everybody, um, welcome back to my kitchen. I'm going to show you my way of doing a very healthy meal prep for chicken for the week that's very flavorful but doesn't have a lot of calories in it. Um, what I use is I use my old trusty crock pot that I got for my mom. I know it's an old one, still works great, so you know, need to replace something, you know, kind of one of those old-fashioned values. If it isn't broke, why fix it? So what I use is I actually will buy my chicken in bulk and then um, rather than pay for individual packaging already done for me, I will package it and then I'll stick it in my deep freeze and pull out the packages as needed. So I use two um, chicken breasts and you can kind of see the size, you know, they're, um, well, I don't know about the size of my hand and my hands are fairly small. Um, here's a paper towel tube. You can see how big it is so that you all can kind of get an idea. So it's about that size. I hope that helps you gauge. Um, sorry about the trash sitting on the counter. And then I use these grill mates or I will use any number of seasoning packages like this that are supposed to be marinades. And I'll show you what I do with them. But one of these will actually last me um, three or four preps. So when you take the cost of that, I mean, it ends up being pretty cost effective. So give me just a second and I'll be right back to show you all what I do. Okay, what I do to do it, um, my meal prep is I actually just cut the tops off my bags. Um, these are little flimsy, cheaper bags. And I don't worry about it because I go through the chicken fairly quickly so it doesn't get freezer burned. Um, but I'll just dump my two frozen, and yes, they are completely solidly frozen. I have not thawed them at all. Chicken breast down in my crock pot. And then I take my seasoning, and I just add kind of what I think is appropriate. Um, this one is about empty, so I'm going to use all of it. Um, I use about a third of the package each time. And yes, this does have sodium in it and whatever. Um, it says there are how many servings? see if I can get it to, well it says there are eight, so eight divided by three, y'all can do the math, um, but it looks like this, and then I just take it over to my sink, and we'll turn on my water in my sink, and I balance it typically right on top like that, and I'll let my water run for just a second until it's a little bit warmer. I'll make sure my chicken doesn't dump out. You can already smell the seasoning. And then I'll just put the water in on my chicken like this in my pot pot. And I'll show you. I'll fill it up until it is about like that right there. So the chicken is completely. And then you can see the seasoning is all on here is just kind of mixed into the water really well. And then I just transfer that straight to my crock pot, which I went ahead and turned up to high. Um, I'll cook it on high for, I don't know, a couple of hours and then I'll kick it back. Um, you can usually smell or I can smell when it does right. So then I just put the lid on it. And like I said, it's an old crock pot. I know it is. But I'll put the lid on it. I'll let it, it'll cook for, I don't know, five or six hours this way. And I'll show you all when the chicken comes out. It just like falls apart. It's so tender because it's cooked for so long. Um, but the seasoning, that mesquite seasoning, which is what I like, that's actually my very favorite is the mesquite. Mesquite seasoning will just seep right into it until it's just amazingly yummy. So anyways, I'll see. Okay, so the chicken has been cooking for several hours now. So I'm going to lift this up and let you all see what the chicken looks like at this point. You can see the fat on the top, but that won't be part of it. I don't want the lens to get all fogged up, but it's about ready to go. Um, I did turn it back down to low and then while I was refilling I bought this while it's like an atomizer for your olive oil and I love it um, you pump it up and you do all those pieces but I was going to show you um, it was pretty well empty a minute ago so I've added you can kind of see down in there added the oil and then once you've added the correct amount of oil I think maybe I need just a tad more in there and this makes it last forever. Um, if I use any kind of spray in my cooking, I always use olive oil because it's good for your cholesterol. So then you just take your little piece here, put it straight down in. Um, and then I did wash this off. So I'm going to have to sit y'all down for a second so I can dry it off. Oops. Okay. 
I washed it with some soap and water, but that doesn't mean that it's going to be the cleanest ever because um, it is oil. So then what you do, how to get you all so you all can see this. What you do is, uh, hopefully you all can see, you spray this down on the top of this container here like this, which creates, um, it's still a little goopy, creates um, a lovely seal. Then this has the pumping action in it, and I like to clean it every once in a while and just keep it up, but you're just going to take it, and like there's no resistance, you just pump until you can, like, y'all can see, I'm pushing pretty hard there. And then when I do this, it's just like having a, um, like a Pam spray, except that I know that I have extra virgin, extra virgin olive oil in it that is pretty decent. Um, and you know, that's it. So this right here, I only refill every several months and I use it all the time. Um, if I do anything like I made bruschetta for lunch, so with my bruschetta, I spray the bread with this, and that way I'm not pouring olive oil on, which really reduces the amount of oil that goes into my food. Um, I'll also use this when I do my veggies this afternoon for my meal prep. Um, whatever oil I use will be this, and so it just gives it a real fine coating, and it makes, like I said, it's not like pouring it on, so it's not nearly, it's a much lighter coat, and it's not nearly as bad, but this one is Le Gourmet Chef. The gourmet chef but um, I actually bought this at a kitchen store a while ago I've thought about getting another one so that I could have one for canola and one for virgin extra virgin I just have to know which was which but um, yeah so there's your tips for today and like I said the chicken I wish y'all had smell of vision oh it smells incredible but the chicken is just about ready okay everybody so I'm starting to prep out the rest of my week's meals in here what I have is just brown rice and then I used um, some just generic mild taco seasoning and on top just put some in just to give it a flavor um, I don't really care for brown rice so this adds usually I'll add salsa but this will add just a little bit of flavor um, a little more salt than what I really want so I'm gonna fill it with I with uh, water here in a second I have my green peppers going and my next bunch over here chopped and ready to go and as you can see I cook them until they have a little bit of brown on them so what we're gonna do now is just add some water into this lovely rice cooker container and I will add a bunch of rice in a bunch of water in because there's a lot of rice down in there and that's way more water than what I needed and then I just put it in my little, sorry guys, to have both hands to do that, put it in my little handy dandy rice cooker, pop the, it's harder than it looks one handed, pop that in and put it on cook. Somebody wants to have some of what mommy's cooking, watch. We'll come back over here to the kitchen while I'm cooking out. We'll pretend that we don't see her, watch. This is our way of saying, Mommy, please give us, please give me some of the veggies because she loves lettuce. I don't know if anybody else's dog loves lettuce, but mine does. Uh, all right, so most of the peppers, this is all that's left to cook right here. Um, most of the peppers are all cooked and sitting here. And I've moved on now. I've chopped up all my mushrooms, and here's what's left that has to be cooked. So all of that is done. And I have my five containers over there. And then my rice over here is in warm mode. Like I said, I put too much water in it. It'll be all right. Um, and it's just warming and it'll be cooked by the time the veggies are done. And the chicken is basically ready. And we'll take it out in a couple, woo, sorry about that guys, in a couple minutes. And um, once I get the mushrooms done and the peppers finished up, um, what I have to do is chop up my Roma tomatoes and add Italian seasoning and I'll show you that in here. Um, I chop them up and just kind of heat them through and then add them to my lunch as well just for a little extra bulk and a little extra flavor and um, they're really good that way. So anyways, there you go. 
Okay, so here's what the mushrooms will look like before you cook them. And this is what they look like or should look like when they're done. So you can kind of see the difference there. They'll shrink up a bit. So when you cut them, make sure you don't cut them too thin. Although I don't like big, like chewy pieces of mushroom. I just like little pieces. So that's up to you, but they will shrink up. This is the size that they were like before. And you can tell they're a little bit smaller now. Um, but that's the color that they need to be at the end. Okay, when the chicken comes out, it'll look like this. Um, it will have spice all around it, and it'll be basically fall apart, um, kind of cooked. So what I do is I take um, either the top of the crock pot or a plate and just kind of cover it for a few minutes and let it just hang out. Um, I've taken the rice out, and it has a good flavor. I tasted it when it came out, and I put it in all the five containers. So each container has a half a cup of rice in it. Um, and I'll show you the rest of the prep when it's all done. Okay, so my lunch is now ready to go. Um, along with what will be my fruit and vegetables for lunch. Um, so I have fruit cocktail and peaches. And then this is what it looks like. So here's my final product of... I'll show you this one because it's a little easier to see all the pieces. Um, this is my to-go lunch. Um, all in all, it's about nine points, I guess. Maybe not. Probably more like seven Weight Watchers points. I have a half a cup of brown rice. Um, I don't have a third of a cup of chicken, but I have some chicken. Tomatoes, green beans, green peppers, and mushrooms. And it's a lot of food. I doubt I will eat it all, but you can see. Um, and they're pretty heavy. So, um, what I like to do is to, like just give myself extra veggies to kind of beef up my lunch if you will while I'm trying to slim down um, that way I have a lot more quantity if I'm really hungry that day or I can use the extra half as a snack um, and then of course eating your fruits is important I was lazy this time so I used canned um, light fruit cocktail and canned light peaches I'll be honest I was lazy I didn't feel like chopping all the fruit up but that is my lunch um and for breakfast i'll show you all what i'm having for breakfast this week i am having these lovely sweet and salty almond bars um they are 160 calories and then if i'm really just dying for something sweet throughout the week which happens to me i got these new special k chocolatey pretzel bars and they are just 90 calories per bar there's like six of them in the box. So anyways, there you go, guys. This is my meal prep for the week. So breakfast and lunch is now done. Um, all I have to do is wake up in the morning, grab it out of the fridge, and go. I'll talk to you all soon.